Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a very lax talk through about some of the things I've been up to and unboxing of my latest Ferris Will Press package as well as my latest Amazon haul. So if you're interested in hearing about all the things, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before I get right into this video, I did want to take a quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, if you enjoy the content of this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and making sure you're subscribed. All right, so today let's go over this Amazon haul very quickly. So this is a nail polish brand that is not, it's not sponsored in any way in this video, but it is my last Amazon haul. I will try to link it in the description box down below if you guys are interested. Basically, my dear friend Carly, who spoils me with all the best things and helps me find all the best brands, uh, gifted me a set of these, I think for Christmas. And so I just recently re-upped on my stash so that I could start doing my nails by myself now that I'm moving to a different stage. <laughs> so since I can't get my nails done anymore, this is actually a great example. I, um, they don't look that great, uh, but basically I've had these uh, gel powder nails for the last, I think three weeks or so. And so to try to make it last a little longer until I can get them done, I slap this on top. This one is the ballet slipper and this one's just a top coat. So I just slapped it on top yesterday and I'm probably gonna go get them done soon. So I want to share that with you all. Amazon, it was about like 10 bucks each. Um, so that's what you can kind of expect. They have different ones as well. This one was a little bit more sheer. So just fair warning, the ballet slipper I have, you do need multiple coats and I also have a light pink underneath. All right, so the other thing while I am trying to open this box, I want to share with you all, I finally started to get some of my wild cut flowers. I took like a wild cut flower mix and just spread it uh, throughout my garden. And it actually only took in a <laughs> box that I have, like, or not a box, a barrel container. And it actually looks really great, honestly, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, in my humble opinion, I think that the box came out pretty nice this year. Very happy because the previous year it didn't work out. And then previous years prior to that, um, it had done really well, but I changed the location. So these are some of the flowers that I have. I think this is a Black Eyed Susan here. That didn't come with the mix. That's just something that actually came with the house. They last forever. I love those flowers. They're really hardy. Uh, they have a nice heavy stem. This one I actually planted as well. It's a lavender plant. It smells so good. I wish I could share that with you all. Um, but what I love about planting wild cut flowers is that um, I basically during the summer have these beautiful bouquets or just like I can put them out on my desk take them to work I've done that before in Manhattan so I've taken on the train and put it on my desk I have like these little containers so I didn't do it last year because I was not living here I was living in DC and I ended up buying them at the farmer's market but since I'm home this year I figured I'd share it with you all very very happy and then in between I have some of my basil for my garden I have an herb garden that I absolutely love that my husband built for me and then some mint here just to add some greenery. All right, so I'm gonna leave this on the side so we can enjoy it together and then go over some of these products and make sure that it doesn't take away from the focus, which it doesn't look like it is because it's definitely at a different um, depth, height. <laughs> All right, so Ferris will press this month. I actually don't have the description, which is terrible. <laughs> My bad, but we're gonna go ahead and continue on the unboxing. So Ferris will press has this Poison Envy I was almost about to say Ivy and I was like, that's not right set. And so I'm really excited. This is my third Ferris wheel press fountain pen, fountain pen. <laughs> and so I'm really excited. They've made some changes since my very first pen that I've actually uh, misplaced for Carly that I also got from, I also discovered this brand from Carly as well. Um, so Poison Envy, really excited. So beautiful. Just once again, sharing a 360 of the packaging. Uh, it says they're water-based, evenly toned, rich and saturated. To experience the full magic of the collection, pair the ink with a medium to broad nib, dip pen or dip pens. All right. So this one, it said it's kind of hard to read, honestly. Let's see. Okay, here we go. If I change it, so the base is purple, the sheen is yellow, the shimmer is green pink, and the shading is NA. <laughs> All right, so I actually do have my Kakimori pen here just for testing, but I do want to load it up to the matching pen because that makes the most sense to me. Sorry if my uh, voice is fading. I forgot to break out my test book. Alrighty, so 
Let's see, I'm kind of nervous. These are made in Canada, if you guys were wondering, as you see the little maple leaf here. And loving the ink, look at the packaging, so beautiful. Okay, so take, oh my goodness. I don't have a purple ink, so this is just like such a treat. Okay, so you can see this. Poison Envy, PSE. Shake this guy up. I do keep my boxes now. I threw away the first few because I was like, oh, I don't have room for this, but I definitely do have room for it. And it's a great way to figure out like what the name of the ink is. <laughs> if you don't have it, it's kind of hard. To... Okay, so let's break this out and share this view with you as well. You see that? It's not focusing. Right? Yeah, okay, better. <laughs> Fountain pen with custom ground nib. Stylo AVEC plume, can't say that. <laughs> and refillable converter, perfect. All right, let's see what it says here. Can you read that as well? Capturing your most magical memory of the midway, the carousel comes equipped with a converter that is ready to fill with your favorite fountain pen ink, which obviously is from Ferris Wheel Press. <laughs> Bring your brightest ideas to life with the spirit of the carnival and i forgot to mention that i do have a code for 10 percent off it is very simply k-a-t-i-e k -A -T -I -E, katie, uh, for eternal flame by katie um so yeah feel free to use that in your next order if you decide to check out some of these items for yourself Ooh, let's see and i will also leave it linked in the description box down below i feel really bad because i don't want to break this so let's see if i can use my cricut scissors to pop this out without breaking the box all right very nice. You know, the funny thing is that I don't actually, like, I keep the box for the last pen that I got, um, but I don't actually use it, right, because I don't put it, put the pen back in. <laughs> so maybe I should get rid of the boxes. Yeah, I'll leave it here for now so you guys can see it. What we're going to. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can refocus. All right. Wow, this nice deep purple color. It actually reminds me a little bit of school. I think it's a little bit more royal and deep than like the NYU colors, but it's very, a lot closer than anything else I have. Um, so I don't think it's a twist off. That was a mistake on my end. Um, it's twist off to refill. So it's just a pull off and let's see if I can get, yeah, I think the flowers are really messing with the focus. All right, so we're just gonna put it farther away so you can see it. <laughs> so it has a silver nib here. So pretty, very lightweight as always. Um, and then the converter is just inside. So you just break this out. You know what, maybe I will just, uh, I, wanna, I wanna fill it up. Let's just fill it up, cause why not? And I don't have any napkins handy. Let's see. I'm gonna use a tissue, hopefully it doesn't get all messy in there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step here. Go right into filling it up because why not? I wanna be able to use this right away. There's several ways that you can fill this. And what I'm gonna do is actually just get the nib nice and wet so that I can use it right off the bat. So I'm gonna shake up the ink real good. Make sure we get all that shimmer and sheen floating around in the ink. And then we're gonna struggle to open it. <laughs> and go right in. You wanna submerge the nib all the way, and then I like to pump down and then back up. So let's see how full we get it. Oh good, okay. So typically I would say that this is a pretty good fill. You see that there's a gap there, and that's a-okay. So I'm just gonna wipe off the nib. Make sure I don't get, leave too much on there. What I like about this method, one, it's messy. <laughs> Um, but two, it helps to get the nib nice and wet, especially if it's brand new. So I can go right ahead and start writing with it. I'm gonna twist this back on. Let me make sure the cap is on for this guy. And let's see what we can do here with testing it. Look at, look at the pigment on there. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be such a pain to get off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some note paper just to get the writing going, filling the ink flowing. And I really like the balance of having the cap here. It helps to counterweight, I guess, the, the front end of the pen. And let's see if we can get it to flow. Oh, there it is. 
Ooh, look at that. Look at that deep, 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 deep. Okay, so that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And we're gonna go ahead and open up to all of the many inks that I have since collected, since I first paired up with her. So we'll press and see if we can set this all aside. All right, so it is currently August. Is it August already? My goodness, it is August. And so maybe what we ought to do is put it in here. So as you can see, every month I've started to try to track like what month and year that I got it. So let's go ahead and hope that I can read this. Okay. And it's 23. And I'm going to go ahead and I don't have, I guess I could use the Kakimori. I will do that as a dip to show you guys the, I think it's the best way to get like a blob and see the sheen and shimmer. So I'm going to leave a space for that and just go ahead and write FWP. And then this is Poison Envy. Weird writing, totally fine. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, is this of the Fairy Tales collection? Yes, it's the Fairy Tales collection. Let's so write that there. Please uh, do not mind my not so great handwriting. And let's go ahead and do these ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, can you see that? Oh, okay. And make sure I cover this up. Sorry if I keep hitting, <laughs> I keep hitting the camera or my phone with my head. So I apologize for that. And then let's see if I can get the little squiggles. Definitely a different feel. Like I feel that you can tell there's a difference. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and write the same thing down here with this pen so you can kind of see a comparison. So I think um, several things, right? Uh, I would say definitely this Kakimori de Pen is a finer nib. I should probably rinse it off pretty quickly, so I'll talk very quickly through this. And I'm very used to, more used to using the finer nib um, fountain pens and also used to using this pen. So just keep that in mind um, when trying to compare. <laughs> My terrible handwriting. I am not used to using medium nib pens. I think this is a medium nib. Let me double check. Does it say? It should say it on the pen. Um, so I'm gonna just pop off the. Oops, <laughs> and I think it does say medium. Oh no! I think it's an F because it has an F on it. Unless that's for first. Okay, I'll press. Okay, 
and I'm really curious. But I guess what I was trying to relay is that I have a lot more practice with the Kakimori pen. And yeah, this is the fine steel nib. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so interesting. And I actually want to then compare it to my handwriting for and actually, well, because I also have a medium. I think this one from a few months ago was a medium. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see it. Does it say M? Oh yeah, you can see it on the nib. I probably won't be able to get the footage to focus close enough, but this one has an M on it, this one has an F. So that's really fun. I'm so excited to have two different ones now uh, that I can compare and I'll do that separately. Maybe I'll post something on Instagram to show you like, a comparison between the F and the thing. But anyways, long story short is what I'm saying is please excuse my terrible handwriting <laughs> first and second time around. Um, I just don't have a lot of practice with it. I'm very excited to break this out. Really loving the dark purple pigment and what I'm going to do is actually give you a closer look so that you can get a close up oop, of the purple color here and the sheen and shimmer so super excited i think it goes really well with the colors that i've received in the past in the past few months um i'm trying to figure out i think this would be really great for actually around halloween time um and using some of my sticky club stickers anyways friends thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this quick talk through unboxing and uh haul video and like i said if you did let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye friends